Hello, welcome back to the channel. As you know, we love to show you new watchmakers, their watches, and also try to show you watches which you don't see on anybody's channels. Today is no different. We have a Instagram personality here in the studio. Hello, Stefan, how are you? Hi, Marco. Great. Welcome to the studio. I'm so happy to have you here. So we've been talking for a long time on Instagram, yes. and uh, finally, it's ready, yeah? So Stefan has a account on Instagram called From Sketch to Watch, where you show your work, you show what you do, you show you a bit of the process, but you never show the full watch, the name, nothing, you know, it's like a mysterious account. So I was always intrigued, like, what's going on there? Today we have the honor to unveil the watch of the world here. So again, thank you for uh, giving me this opportunity as well and to the audience. And we'll talk about your journey, your story, and uh, you know, where do you come from, let's say, in this whole watch universe? After my four years uh, watchmaker apprenticeship, yeah. I started to work in the watch industry, in the mass production of watches. Yeah. I worked in different departments like watch head assembly and quality control. Mm -hmm. And then I switched to the office and worked in the product development. Yeah. After a certain time, I missed uh, to work with my hands. So mm -hmm. I started in the, in the free time to work on a design of a watch. Then I bought some machines and I recognized uh, you need a lot of machines to <laughs> yeah. do that. So a new hobby was a uh, tools collection. Yeah, yeah. And I tried several designs and failed sometimes. And then I started this project. Yeah, and this is this was a long project, huh? Because again, we've been chatting a while now. And every component you see here and in the watch as well, um, a lot of the things are done by you, which you will go through as well. So. I think uh, let's not beat around the bush too much. Let's uh, unbox this one. Huh? Yeah. Go uh, ahead. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like I'm peeling off like a foil, you know. <laughs> this is a very nice presentation here. Here we go. So we see the brand name, Scherer Watches, it's right? It's my last name, yes. Beautiful. A very nice box. I like the edges, logo here. So first time we show the watch. <laughs> Very clean design, huh? I'm happy to show it. Why did you decide on this design, the simplistic look of a time-only watch, let's say, and also down the line, I want to talk to you about what's the future, you know? I know we only started, but you know, I want to see where your mind's at. So what inspired you to go this way? The idea was to do a watch, like from sketch to yeah. watch. Yeah. Uh, the idea was to do everything in this watch by myself. Okay. So I it's didn't start with a with a tour PO, for example. Yeah. I just wanted to verify that I can do every part by myself. Mm -hmm. So it was the idea to do it with a very simple watch. That's the reason why it's time only watch. Very nice. Moment. So basically, the components we see here and a lot of the components in the watch and around it, it's basically done by you. So for the audience to understand, this is very difficult to create, right? Especially for the first watch. So how long did it take you to, let's say, like your account from the sketch to the watch, approximately? Yeah, the account exists since uh, 2016. Okay. But this project I started in 2018. Yeah. And um, I had a lot of changes uh, during this time oh, for to, sure. to get here. Back when we spoke uh, at the beginning, there was no name. Yeah, so. that's right, that's right. <laughs> I'm like, it's a great watch, but what's the name of it? So I'm happy uh, we figured that one out. The dial is made by you, the hands, the case. What do you make in-house? What do you outsource? And again, how complex is it? On the dial side, everything is made in-house. Also the guillotine. The only thing made by supplier is the coating. Mm -hmm. It's a very special process. I can't do it by myself. Yeah. But the rest is made in my workshop. Crazy, man. And how many pieces are going to be produced of this watch? And maybe for the audience to understand, I think we should name the price of this watch. It's your first watch, because then I think they will understand, okay, the amount of work that goes into this, because we have shown a lot of watchmakers on the channel. Some do less, some do more themselves. And I think they will be able to put it in a nice bracket, you know, of uh, okay. price versus performance ratio. So yeah, the price is uh, 35 thousand Swiss francs and uh, it's limited to 12 pieces. Mm -hmm. So the first series is like a subscription piece basically? Yeah, or? I didn't call it like that, but mm -hmm. uh, you can say it. Yeah. And are some available or is it? There are some available, yes. Okay. But uh, with a production time of 
late 2025. Okay, yeah, gotcha. So if somebody has questions about the watch, wants to chat with you, I'm gonna put all the links in the video description below so you guys can check it out, of course. And, uh, you know, you give him a follow and uh, see what he's doing because it's a, it's a really cool piece. So the case, you make it yourself or no? or Because the case, I know most people outsource. No, the case is made completely in-house. Very special uh, middle part. The, the locks are separated. Yeah, because we have stuff here, right? Yeah, right. So you said that this is the beginning. The, the, that's the case back, actually. The case this back. One. Yeah, it's uh, blank. And then this that's, is... That's the middle part of the, the case. The middle with, part. Uh, the holes for the locks. And these are the lugs. These are the lugs. They are here. It's uh, still one piece. It's <laughs> better for uh, the production. Yeah, and these are now the, the, the single lugs, basically. The single correct? lugs, and they fit into the holes of the middle. And this kind of construction allows me to finish every hidden yeah. angle of the case. Yeah. Uh, if it's one piece, it's not very easy to yeah. go. And it also yeah. gives you the freedom of choosing like the, the size and the height and everything, correct? Yeah. The final watch is 8.2 millimeters thick hmm. and the diameter is 39.5 millimeters. Yeah, it's a great size. And also the, I think, I would say for me personally, the more beautiful part is on the back side of the watch. Yeah? And again, you also did not skip any uh, shortcuts there. So what did you do? What didn't you do? Why? How difficult it was? <laughs> it's very difficult. Um, You're like, it took eight years, right? <laughs> the design of the movement, it's a very classical uh, shape. You know it from the watches from the 50 or 60. Mm. It's the same arrangement. I'm doing everything in-house, except uh, some tools and also the mainspring and the raw hairspring is uh, from an old yeah. stock. So you don't produce your own jewels? Just three of them, <laughs> <laughs> no, to kidding. be honest. Yeah. Again, I'm saying this because for 35,000 Swiss francs, I mean, it's not, a, it's not a small amount of money, but for somebody who's making the case, the movement, the dial himself, I think it's a, it's a, it's a really good opportunity. Yeah. The finishing, you make it yourself as well or? The finish on the movement is uh, Geneva stripes. I choose the very flat one. Yeah not uh, with the big steps, with an uh, anglage on the bridges, mm -hmm. a steel balance cock and also for the intermediate wheel. Yeah, and those are mirror polished. Huh? They are mirror polished. Which is not an uh, easy feat. <laughs> it's, it's difficult on yeah. this uh, big size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also there you can find some interior angles on the steel bridge. That's ah, gorgeous. And some pelage on the bottom here below as yes. well. So the balance wheel also you made yourself or did you? The balance wheel is also Because it made. looks like a different shape, huh? Yeah, it's a special shape and it has four weights made mm -hmm. of 18 karat gold. Beautiful, that's a lot of work, man. And you told me uh, when we were setting up the, the table that uh, this is the raw component of the for the wheels, yes, correct? Right. So, and it's gold. It's gold. 18 karat gold here. It's 14K. 14 k 14 karat. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so essentially, these are some tools how you make the wheels exactly different steps different finishing here and again i mean i don't know many people that use gold uh, gold for the gears it's very practical to use real gold because the, the wheels are mirror polished and it's very easy to scratch them and yeah. if they are made of uh, brass for example yeah. and they are scratched you can't repolish them again mm -hmm. okay. so that was the reason to choose uh, makes sense, real yeah. gold instead of the yeah. brass this is gorgeous. And what's the uh, power reserve? The power reserve is uh, approximately 39 hours. I say to the customers, at least 38 hours. Yeah, but it's a manual winding watch. So I yes. Mean, people that collect these types of watches, myself included, we know that you need to wind it. I usually wind it every day just yeah. uh, because I like it, you know, to hear the, the wheel a bit turning. So what drives you, your passion for the watch? What do you want to develop in the future? Because this is the first watch, the time only piece, the uh, introduction to you. What do you like? You like complications? You like astrology? Yes. What's, what's your thing, Stefan? <laughs> As a watchmaker, it's always, a complication is always in mind uh, because yeah. I think now I have uh, set up a, a good base. Mm -hmm. I have something in my mind, but uh, it's not on the paper right now. So, so, <laughs> so it's not a sketch yet. It's not a sketch, no. <laughs> uh, but uh, it will be something uh, technical uh, complication, yes. Yeah, beautiful. Let me see this. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Wow.
I see the uh, the chaptering uh, for the hours is also beautifully made. The hands are nice. The, the hour hand is a very low on the dial. Huh? Yeah. You wanted to keep it as slim as possible, huh? I assume. Yes, uh, 8.2 millimeters is uh, very not thin. very. No, it's thin for the yeah, yeah. It's very thin for the, especially for the first watch. Huh? The hour markers are engraved. Yes. And then uh, do do you lacquer them or something? I can't see with my with my eyes, but. They are filled up with uh, lacquer, yes. Very cool. And the guilloche has a very beautiful pattern, which I don't see a lot. And you said you also guilloche it yourself. What does it mean exactly? You have a guilloche machine or? Yes, I built a guilloche machine by myself. <laughs> Why not? Uh, it was very difficult. To, casual information. <laughs> to, source, uh, to source one. So <laughs> I decided to do a machine by myself. Yeah, and, uh, for sure easier. <laughs> <laughs> Any other machines you made yourself? Yeah, I made uh, the machine for the Geneva stripes is made uh, by myself. Yeah, again, uh, easy work. <laughs> this guy, awesome man, He's, yeah, full of surprises. <laughs> yeah, the decoration is super nice. Oh, well, congrats. Thank you very much. How do you feel having the first watch uh, finished? It's a, it's a great feeling, yeah. Yeah, and again guys, so this is something you, you rarely see. Uh, we had uh, People on the channel like Andre Berkus in the past from Czech Republic, who makes his own watches as well. And I think uh, it's a rare opportunity to have you here as well. So thank you so much. Gorgeous. So guys, I hope you liked the video. And the uh, question, will you make uh, more of these dial variations of the same movement or will you go from to the complication immediately? For people to know, you know, is it a... Uh, Will May you use the same base with different dials or? Maybe I will use the same movement again, mm -hmm. maybe with uh, another dial com uh, combination, mm -hmm. um, because it took so long to develop this movement of and course, to produce. Yeah. And it's um, a beautiful movement. I made a lot of toolings which I use for the, to produce the movement. Mm -hmm. Maybe I go this way. I think so. I also. think so. It's a, it's a <laughs> it's a too nice a movement uh, to, to to skip basically with twelve pieces only. Stefan. Thank you so much for coming. I wish you, you all the best on your journey. And I can't wait to see you uh, next year with some new things uh, or this year, who knows? Huh? Yeah, now maybe. it's time to, <laughs> time to show us. Now we're all hungry for more. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions of which watchmakers we should invite to the studio here in Zurich, let me know in the comment section below. Also give Stefan a good follow on the links in the description. I'm really grateful for all your support so far, of course, as well. Thank you for watching guys. And as always, I'll see you next week.